thing y'all can't be knowing all of my business it's not just yet anyway i'm gonna share it with you it's just some things that i just cannot share at the moment i'm um, thank you guys for understanding and your support in that but yeah i can't tell y'all all the team but um yeah, yeah. i'm working on time i'm upset Fifty thousand on my head is disrespect Hey Lee fam, so the police out here a little hot. So uh, I'm trying to vault this really quickly, guys. I just killed my job interview with Cortland. I got my stuff together with Houston ISD the other day. Y'all, I'm out here in Houston like it's, it's nothing. I'm out here driving, I'm doing my thing. Um, I'm excited. This city, one thing I don't like about this city, everything is so spread out. That's what I don't like, but yeah, y'all, I'm going to do some exploring today because I literally have nothing to do today or tomorrow. So, um, I'm supposed to be going out to eat with my good friend Tiffany. Last night, I went out to eat with Kayla King, my LS. So, uh, went out to eat with her. And, guys, I'm just living life, guys. This move is happening. It's, it's freaking happening. And I'm just so happy and I'm so excited. And, yeah, let's do it. And is it okay if I... So I can remember... Yeah, I like this a lot. Because I looked at so many apartments. It's a lot of Cortland. Oh. It's a lot of apartments at Cortland. So I'm like, okay, well, Cortland, they're they doing are something one right. Of the nearest, they're the nearest community Cortland has. So you're going to sit on the bed in the bedrooms, which is really nice. And then you're going to walk in closets. And then what is this? Coat closet? That would be the Laundry? Wash and dryer. dryer. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that is included, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I like it. This is where we host our resident events as well. And then we can also rent this location. Very nice. Mm -hmm. we, uh, this is my favorite part of the clubhouse. It's this booth area here. It's very private. And then you can also watch TV. Mm -hmm. See you later. Hi. We have our computer room. We have wireless printers, so you can actually connect it to your phone, your laptop. Very nice. So they would actually do it a little Resort style pool. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. It is gorgeous. We have the cabanas. Is this 24 hours or no? This one is up until 10 p.m., but it's open year round. Up until 10 p.m. Okay, is it heated? Is it heated? It's not. So oh, the it's area not. is open year round, but the pool, pool is, is only not. the summertime. It's hot water. Okay. And you can just walk around and you can see the pool. Okay. And then you have that big house over there. So in the wintertime, there's actually a fire pit. Oh my goodness.
Okay, so major class is here. So this is a dining room. Yep. Okay. And this one, this is an open floor plan, so this would technically kind of be a dining room area here. And that would be the living room area here. Because okay. the room the cable jack is right here. So most people would have a couch here and a, like a love seat here. Mm -hmm. But we got a section that would go around this way. Around this way, and then uh, this would be dining area. Yep, and this, and this would be a dining room area here. Um, one guy, he put four bar stools right here. He dressed his up up the shop. He had some bar stools there. Uh, he had that. He had actually love seat, love seat, entertainment center right there. That way, if he's in here cooking or entertaining, he can see the TV. Right, and the guests can sit here. Yeah, because then, because feel for the it. rooms always feel smaller when they don't have furniture in them. So then right. you got this one here. Okay, so this is the pink bedroom, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. In the little closet. Okay. Another bedroom there. And you get two linen closets, one for each bedroom. Okay, so this is guest bathroom. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Stand-up shower. Stand-up shower. So wait, I just realized there are no tubs in here. No, there's a tub in the other one. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So yeah, I'm a shower person anyway. And oh my goodness. Your walk-in closet right here. So this is phase two. Yeah, phase two, yeah. Okay. So the classes aren't bad. Um, it's got the five stands with the black on the side, so it looks really good. Yeah. And that light picture up there with Bluetooth, you can play your music from it. So it's speakers in the base of it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, again, it's the black on the side. Yeah. <laughs> it's not bad, though. It just looks good. It does. Yeah, you have the double seats and then the gooseneck neck faucet. It's a really nice touch. And a huge patio on this one. And there's still a fan in the hallway with everything living area. Mm -hmm. Washing jar is included okay. in our homes, already there for you. What's the, um, what are we here? I, can, I have them in a uh, pamphlet. In this one is Sydney. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, it's not on there. Yeah, I have it in my office. Oh, this is a nice closet, though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this is the same, so this is phase two as well. Yeah. Okay. It's just a different layout. So and this one is the room. one or the two bedroom? Wait, two, this is. Oh, this is one bedroom. So this one is the Montreal. Montreal. Yeah. I mean, it's not much difference. Like, yeah. I don't. Mainly just the kitchen's bigger and you lose a little living room space. And it's 
it's got a walk-in closet at the front too to get extra storage. So yeah, I don't know if I'll that other bathroom was a little bit like deeper mm -hmm. or something. So yeah. Yeah. And if you set up a table, you have to walk around it every time. To come to your bedroom. Yeah. Bathroom. So I probably would I'll probably would like bar stools here. Yeah. And then just have all of this living room space. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the other one it had, and I forgot that fast, but I recorded it, so um, it'll get you. Mm -hmm. Like this, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the pictures are really nice. And this one is what? The what? Uh, this is Torino, but the Barcelona will be similar. So you won't have that shower, but your bathroom would look more like this other bathroom back here. That's what Matthew teaches across the But this that one bedroom is not like that. Put your bathroom similar to this with the garden tub and this color vanity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I actually like this. This one is a Torino. Yep. And the Barcelona is similar, as far as like a one bedroom version of it. Mm, I think I want a two bedroom now. <laughs> yeah. Because nice. I just like how, I don't know. Well, of course all the floor plans aren't gonna flow like this either. Yeah. So. This one's 1277 for the one bedroom, or two bedroom. For the two bedroom. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hey, what's up, Lee family? So, um, yeah, I'm driving around my neighborhood. And baby, when I tell you I love this neighborhood, I really do. I like it. Um, I'm just trying to get myself familiar with it. Today is Saturday. Y'all, I haven't really been vlogging everything because I don't want y'all, y'all don't need to be knowing all my business where I live at, this, that, the third. Y'all don't need to be where I work at, all of that stuff. So I haven't been vlogging everything. But guys, I, I, I will say that I'm loving Miss Houston, Texas. I really am. I'm loving Houston. Um, but yeah, y'all, that's just pretty much it. I, I look, I love it. The vlog is coming soon. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, show you guys, but the apartments and everything that I've been looking at. But if you just know, if you see the apartment, if the tours that I was going on, that's not it. That's not where I'm living at. I don't want y'all to know all that. You don't need to be knowing all that. I like diamonds. I like stunning. I like shining. I like million dollar deals. Where's my pen? Bitch, I'm signing. I like those Balenciagas. The ones that look like socks. I like going to the Tula. I put box all in my watch. I like Texas from my exes. fam so today is july the 20th today is moving day and uh today is moving day um i'm gonna pack up my car my line brother is on his way to help me pack up finish packing up my car because i already started but uh some of this some of this is gonna have to be shit some of this is gonna have to fit in because this is too much to fit in my car but i don't know we'll figure that out i may leave some of it at his well i don't know we'll figure it out but um yeah Today is moving day. I'm about to go in and hand in my keys. Once we get this a whole apartment packed up and cleaned up, um, I'm gonna give y'all a little apartment tour too. But um, yeah, it's it's been a long time coming, y'all. I started this process in like May. I sold all of my furniture. This apartment is just it's empty. I need to go. I need to go back and give this to time on a cable. Let me go back through this apartment. Let me show y'all what's going on. Okay, y'all, so this is what we have left. This is all my furniture. Well, not all my furniture. The couple pieces of furniture, this lamp, that lamp right there, that lamp over there in the corner, this end table, and then my computer and stuff I'm going to take with me. My line brother, his battle, wants those furniture pieces. That, 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 and his little sister uh, want those furniture pieces, so I'm going to give that to them. But yeah, y'all, so this is the apartment tour. So let me give y'all a little... I guess semi-empty apartment tour. So y'all, this is my apartment where I live for 
and speak of the devil. Get yourself back in here. Hey, what's up? Huh? What did you move? Like this, some of this stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna have to ship it or what. I don't know, but um. I'm sure I'll be able to. I'm sure I'll be able to. Or either get a big box and put it all in one big box or what? Because sure. some of that. Yeah, this is the uh I'm gonna say where you parked at. But this is all I got done so far. Trying to strategically put it in there like Tetris. And it's like another bag under there, under the floor, that bag, that, that, and then yeah, that. I, think that I got some good. stuff in the trunk. Uh hook up. When you call me, I woke up and I just started. So before I leave, you need to put him down. Uh, no, uh, uh, uh. Why? You just said put him down. Not right now. He can't be outside without a leash on. No, but if he run away, that's it. They ain't giving him back. Get, get, get a whipping if you want to. You get a whipping if you want to. What are you going to beat him for? The apartment's almost 1,000 square feet. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I'm standing at the entrance. So, we got the tile floor here. Standing at the entrance. So, as I am standing here, y'all, the carpet damage, y'all, four years, y'all. I've been here four years, y'all. Dog, all that. So, just bear with me. Um, okay. So, when you come over here, this is the dining area. Dining area. Got my little vacuum cleaner over there. You got a little closet here. Nice big old coat closet. This was a nice apartment though. And then I came over here, y'all. So over here we got the kitchen area. That's my little internet box. I gotta take back to Spectrum. Trifling sales. Uh kitchen. Wash and dryer was included. This is my little apartment. Now this is not a Cortland apartment. Don't don't get it twisted now. This is another property. Wash and dry was a cool, y'all. It's a mess in here. It's a mess. Uh, got this little cup. Throw this away. Um, let's see. So now, okay, so living room. This is the living room area. One thing I did not like about this apartment, it did not have uh, lights in the ceiling fan. I didn't like that. Um, ties in there, getting ready to go, get in the car. Um, so yeah, living room area, and then I had this sunroom area. So guys, this particular area, I had my desk here, and I would use like my YouTube stuff. I had my, my law office stuff, my grad school stuff. I had all that stuff here. So anytime work needed to be done, this is the area. I had my desk, my iMac, everything set up there. Um, and then when you come over, so out of this area, you go into the balcony. So we're gonna step right out here on this balcony. It is very nice. I barely use it. I didn't even have any patio furniture or anything. My dog mostly used this area as his toilet. Um, but yeah, and then it had storage out here as well. Little storage closet out here as well. Oh, I'm so glad I found this in my pocket. Okay. Storage closet out here. Then we walking back here. So this is the bedroom where all the trouble happened. Jesus. Okay, y'all. So the balcony, it opens up out of the bedroom. So, yeah. Bedroom. And I have my walk-in closet over there. This is a nice, pretty nice size bedroom. Um, Walk-in closet. This is a nice little closet, y'all. Keep in mind, it's not my apartment. This ain't Cortland now. Walk-in closet, scarred up, scratched up my luggage and stuff, y'all. Ooh, they're gonna charge me your arm and a leg when I move out of here. Ooh, they're gonna charge me, baby. Um, okay, bathroom. And I need to get take my shower curtains down. I didn't take my shower curtains down. Okay, so we got the Jack and Jill sink. 
Jack and Jill sink in the bathroom, so that is always nice. Now, guys, keep in mind, this apartment is not the cleanest because I paid for express clean. So, my little maid gonna come up here and clean up because I'm too cute. I'm gonna be doing... I cleaned up just to be courteous because, really, I didn't have to clean nothing at all. But I cleaned up majority of everything just to be courteous. But, yeah, my little maid gonna come up here and clean up the rest. Okay, y'all, so this is bedroom, bathroom, and this one had the larger garden tub as well. Like I said, it's not as nice as a Portland property. Let me just take all this down because it's got to go in the trash. This ugly red. Y'all, my mama bought me the shower curtain. She bought me everything red. And I'm like, mama, why would you buy everything red? She's like, well, I want to... Look at this. I might not post this, y'all. This apartment was a mess. And closet in there. So, yeah. Little, little cute apartment. Got my shower curtain on the floor. But, yeah, let me get another shot. But keep in mind, y'all, this ain't Cortland now. This ain't Cortland. But this bathroom had the larger garden tub as well. So, yeah. You know, this is how we do. So, yeah, y'all, this is my empty apartment. This is the apartment that I lived in in Charlotte, North Carolina these past four years. This is the first and last apartment that I got when I first moved out on my own in Charlotte. This was the, this was the apartment. So, I've been here four years. I've learned a lot. I've grown a lot. It's just a lot, y'all. So thankful and I'm so grateful for the time that I had here in Charlotte. But the 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 tea, the real tea is I haven't even told my family, y'all. So I'm going to Louisiana. I'm driving my car because, like I said, I was packing my car up. Me and my line brother packed my car up. But um, yeah, I packed my car up and I ain't tell nobody. So I'm going home. I'm gonna unload some of the stuff out of my car, like my big winter coats and stuff like that. I'm gonna leave that at my mom's house for like a month or so, and I'm gonna come back and get that because I don't need that right now. But let me just close everything, make sure everything is good. Get this out of here. Oh, I need to vacuum. I need to vacuum this apartment one more time. And I'm going to come back and just walk back through and look at everything, make sure I ain't left nothing. Um, but yeah, y'all, I am so thankful and I am so grateful for the people that I met, for the friends that I've made, for my line brothers, baby. Beta Bougie, Beta New Lambda. I love my chapter and I love my fraternity. To all of my colleagues that I met in graduate school at the University of North Carolina, I love you all. To all of my professors, everybody that I came in contact with in Charlotte, all of my coworkers at CMS, all of my students. Oh my God, all of my students, like, mm, 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 mm. all of my students, and I just, Charlotte. Charlotte will always hold a piece of my life. I plan to visit twice a year, once for the, uh, the Luau, the Alpha Luau that we have every year. And then once for Martin Luther King Day, because those are our two biggest community service events. The scholarship luau that we have every year and the Martin Luther King Day parade here in Charlotte. Like, it's a big old to-do. So I'm definitely going to come and do that with my chapter each year and just visit my family, my friends. You know, all my line brothers getting married. They're having babies and stuff like that. All these nieces and nephews that I'm having, my line brothers. So it's just, I will be back. Charlotte hasn't seen the last of me, but I would definitely say... I've learned a lot and I've grown a lot in Charlotte, in Charlotte, and I thank God for Charlotte. I've learned so much and I discover myself and I just, I thank God. I just thank God because there were times where God kept me. God kept me. God kept me. I learned so much in Charlotte and I'm just so thankful and I'm so blessed. And so my Charlotte family, peace out. Peace out, Lee fam. I'll see y'all in, uh, I think the next time I see y'all be in Louisiana or probably on the road. So I'm about to go to Louisiana and visit my family for the weekend, and then I'm going to Houston on Monday. So, and then we'll do the empty apartment tour again for my new apartment on Wednesday, because I uh, move in there on the 25th is my apartment is going to be ready. So y'all, I'm just excited. Just a new chapter, one chapter closing, and a new chapter beginning. So yeah, peace out. Disrespect, so offended that I had to double check. I'm a 